one <laughs> all right guys so welcome back to another jeff commentary we're here with episode number four of the lord of the rings the rings of power the great wave so we're here with the great wave last episode <laughs> let me just go back to that real quick we saw we got introduced to adar no we did not i'm lying we didn't get introduced to adar but we got it you know whatever <laughs> um so i'm not gonna really dwell on this because i apologize guys but i keep trying i keep doing these late in the night because i get the best lighting in the night in the morning you will just not see my face so i'm trying to do it in the night but i can't stay up too late let's got work but Let's just get right into the video so you reach this far. I hope you enjoy and I hope you can watch this with me throughout the whole thing. Let me just set this up real quick. Alright. Let's get into it. One as boundless as a sunrise over the rolling sea. What's her name? I don't know her name. Is that water? Oh, this is a dream. Yeah, this is a dream. There's no way. This is a dream. Yeah. Who's speaking for us? <laughs> and so it begins. We may have a bit of a squall on our hands. Elf ships on our shore. Elf workers. What elf ships? Or an elf lover. Just like her father. So her father was a love lover. We are sons and daughters of the Edai. Of Elros Tarminiatur, whose host conquered Morgoth himself. That's right. That's right, Nabu. That's right. As always, a kingdom of men. <laughs> this guy knows how to do his stuff. Fuck. Far, far, Farzaron. Farazon. Farazon. There it is. But the lost heir in exile to the throne of the Southlands. And I suppose Elendil here is a runic emperor. It's the petty lord, actually. <laughs> That's right, bro. To reforge the alliance between Numenor and elves. Oh, she's not going to like that. To save the men of the Southlands. She's not going to like before that. Before Sauron claims that. King or carpenter, the Southlander will face judgment. This audience has ended. Then I have little choice but to ask for another. One with Numenor's true ruler. Your father, the king. Ooh. Or are you a castaway, grasping for a handhold in a tempest? There is a tempest in me! It swept me to this island for a reason. And it will not be quelled by you, Regent. Ooh, 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 she talking her stuff. You're off the sea, God. All three of you. Ooh. The real problem is him. And that's not going anywhere. I can't, I, I, I can't, I can't blame him. Like, you know, I can't blame him. For like being mad at him. I can't. Okay, Adar, give me Adar. That's so creepy. Okay, I know you. I know this actor. I don't know his name though. So he's an elf. They're always elves. Is that in motion? Oh, mercy. That was mercy. And he feels bad. Mahtar. Valarian Desa. Nano by its you. He's an elf. <laughs> Another one. That is something only the gods can do, and 
I am no god. At least... Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> what are you? Half orc, half elf? The men who have taken refuge in the old watchtower. Hi, Ozara. A few rabbits. That'll feed us a day. Then it's another day, and let us be grateful for it. I'm sick and tired of watching everything go to tatters and not doing anything about we it. We are doing everything we can. Well, I'm not. Theo! Theo! You can either help me or you can make it harder. That's true. That's true. You gotta you gotta support her. And she's right. That's not about day. Better than nothing. There might be more food. Come on, this place is deserted. Bro, go, go, yeah, let him go with those, you can stay by yourself. I'm not trying to be mean, but you know, like, you gotta prioritize. Oh boy. Ooh, something's gonna be behind him. Whoa, yeah, leave, leave, book it, book it, book it. I'm sorry, but just book it, leave. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? What? Ooh, under the water. For a moment standing there, you were the very image of your father. Isn't that odd? So who was his father? Gerda, I'm warning you! Was there anything else he wanted to ask about, did he? <laughs> she looked low-key, like sinister. She kind of scared me there. He's gonna be like right there. Super everything. <laughs> That's what I'm putting. Else have super everything. Rich crown, kiss the stone, polish your gems and gold. That's crazy. And the power of this stone will doom you and your kin to sorrow to your last day on this middle earth. Touch the stone. Token of our friendship. But if you give it to him and someone's find like somebody finds it on him, they're gonna be like, yo, what is that? Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sorry. It's alright, it's alright. It's 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 alright, honestly. I'm not in the habit of going off with strange young men. Very wise. If I see any, you'll be the first to know. I'm gonna give him that. <laughs> How does he I'll give him that? Has she, has she been pasting for like the past Six hours. You do well to identify what it is that your opponent most fears. And exploit it. No. <laughs> Give them a means of mastering it. Salt her people, defy her orders, none of which quickened her pulse. No. True. All of a sudden she throws you in a cell. But that wasn't what provoked her anger, was it? It was her father. I demanded to speak with her father. The fact that she can like, punch the daylights out of everybody right here. You know, heighten strength and all. I knew it! Oh, you've won? Now you can go west. Is that Galadriel in the picture? I'm just, I'm just reaching, I'm sorry. Your father was loyal to the elvish ways. Why are you not? Tell me. Her mother was an elf. Nah, I'm just jumping, I'm just jumping to conclusions, honestly. 
I must warn you. I have touched Palantiri before, but you have not touched this one. Who does this is the same seal? Water. Let Numenor fight alongside the elves once more. I don't know, I just, I just don't see her budging. He's brave, I'm gonna give him that. God. Is that CGI? <laughs> He's just getting really lucky at this point. What's gonna be right here? Her mom, his mom. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> that works. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, just, just carry him. Just carry him. You're strong. Around there is nasty. Ooh. This boy's gonna stop. He's gonna stop. Of course he is. She's gonna get striked. She got hit. She definitely got hit. Oh, she's showing. She's okay, I guess. <coughs> Stormtrooper aim, honestly. And I was wrong. Can you not even look at me? He's probably dead. You need not wait for that day to hear my voice. Forever am I with you, my son. That's right. That's all he wanted to hear, honestly. Good. Go find out. Go to London. Find out who won. Thank you. Kiss, 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 kiss. From me, bow. I don't Come know. Come off you. it, lad. You know of what I speak. Mm, he's done it quite a few times, too. We well, must have seen it in the skies. A few weeks back now. Starfall. So, Mogorov was like a big, big bad. And then Sauron picked up the slack. You'll need it. So why don't you want it back? I mean, I would want it back. If, you know, he probably knows the power of it. So I'm, I'm confused why he doesn't want it back. He probably is like weak and be like, you know, I can't handle this anymore. So you're going to leave Halbrun? Darn. I really liked you guys. Ah, call her back. <laughs> Just call her back now. Oh, he's out. To our queen regents protect him. I am. That's what you finna say. <laughs> All right, so that was episode number four of, you know, the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, episode four, the Great Wave. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm extremely tired. So, this episode, not my favorite, again, but it had a lot of juicy stuff in it. So, we met Adar. Adar looks like he's an elf. He's most likely an elf because he was speaking the language of the elves. Yeah, he's most likely an elf. And he is somewhat the father of the orgs or you know like he probably like saved baby orgs and you know helped them reproduce or whatever i don't know how they do that but probably that's why they call him father you know they look up to him and very tay tay so you know and um let's just go from the top so for fa fazaran the council the count the, the counselor he is very you know he's he has a lot of charisma he can talk to a crowd he can 
you know, express himself in a different, in a certain way, and then he can get the crowd wild. Like the person who Halbrand beat up in that episode, I, I'm, I doubt we're gonna ever see him again. But good, great job on making me don't like him. I don't like him, and you know, he tried to, you know, start out a, 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 a uprising for what, so he could be on the throne. He wouldn't even get near the throne, but. The council came for Fa Faza. He came and he just dialed it down. So great job to you, sir. The queen regent, meaning that she's only seen, like she's only holding the position of, you know, sovereign leader in a sense. Her father, they kicked him out because he wanted to be, you know, he wanted to have relations with the elves again. So they basically just, you know, threw him out. And um, she's the queen regent, and she's been having, she's been having, you know, visions because she touched the plan the the palantir. So when she touched the palantir now, that's when, you know, she had a vision of Galadriel. You know, when Galadriel first came, that's when she got the vision of Galadriel. That's when she got the vision of Galadriel, you know, she touched the Palantir and she got the vision of Galadriel and Galadriel touched the Pantir but Palantir and also got the vision of the tsunami. So um, uh, the queen is called Muriel. So Muriel, she got a vision of Galadriel coming and also the tsunami and the petal, the, the white leaves, you know, Flying away from the tree means that you know it's that they're being judged by their gods. Isildur is the son. He got his friends and him also rejected from the ship thing, or you know, the ship guard or whatever you want to call it. But now that put him in the in the position to be on the ship going to the Southlands with his father. I don't know if his sister is going to be like, I want to go with my brother. I don't know because he, they did say fathers and daughters or women and men. So maybe his sister, Aaron, might be like, you know, I want to go with my brother. I don't want to lose another brother. Maybe his brother died. The brother, I don't remember his brother's name, but maybe his brother died and now she doesn't want to lose another brother, so she's going to probably go with him. So, elves have heightened everything. Heightened ears, heightened eyes, heightened, you know, senses. Because Elrond was all the way over the other side, and he could hear everything that was being said on the other side of the place. Or, you know, he was reading lips or something. He was doing something. <laughs> But I know it was heightened senses. The sword that the boy had, what is his name? I don't remember his name. I still don't know his name. Is it Ostinith? I'm not sure. But the, the son of Broadway, the hilt is actually a sword. It needs blood in order for it to fully form. How he figured that out, I don't know. I really don't know. Because when he showed his arm, it didn't seem like he's done it. He didn't, it didn't seem like he did it more than once. He, he, it seemed like he only did it once, but he really knew how to do that. So that's kind of crazy to me. And you know, he turned to a sword and the, uh, the orgs obviously know it. And Adar wants it. And now Adar knows that it's at the tower that they're staying at. So Adar is going to probably just go there and reef Havok. Is a run there a traitor now? Like, did he turn a run there? Because a run there didn't seem like hesitant. He was like, we have no other choice but to surrender. Like, that's that's that, that's the vibe he, he he gave when he was speaking to Broadway. I hope I'm saying her name right. I hope that's even her name. You know, but he kind of gave that vibe of being a traitor. But I'm not saying that he's a traitor. But like, you know, he's like probably giving up. He's lost his mentor, the person who was leading them. He's lost his best friend. 
he's probably tired. Living all, all those years, losing so many people, he's probably be like, okay. You know, I know he knows the full force of the orgs that are there, so he's probably like scared. But I have to see more. I'm just saying what's on my mind that I don't think he's a traitor, but he's giving off like, you know, we have to get out of here. We know we have to give up. We have to basically give up these lands in order for us to leave, to, to, to live, you know? Forget this or else. You understand me? The, the doors found a new ore. Elrond seemed very curious about it. Like he was really, he's becoming really sketchy with it too. And um, Durin just gave it to him. He was like, you don't have it. And around there, uh, not around there, Elrond was right. Okay, no problem. Appreciate it, my guy. Appreciate it. <laughs> you know, he just took it. Simple. No questions asked. He just took it. He was like, okay, my guy. Appreciate you. You know what I mean? Um, So the, and then now uh, the king of Numenor is sick. So on top of him being exiled from being king or in a locked away to his room, he is sick. Did they make him sick? He's old, but did they make him sick? Because you know, it's look, it look, it's the way how Muriel described the events. It seemed like they planned it for him to get sick so she could just take over. Cause there's no way he was not sick. No, there's no way he was sick and ruling before they they, they, they rebelled and took him off. There's no way. They wouldn't let a sick rule. So I'm just I'm just saying I'm just I'm just grasping at straws here, but that's what I'm seeing right here. That's that's what that was in, in my mind, you know. Halbrand is out of jail. Great. I want more of Halbrand's backstory. I want to know more about Halbrand because he's my favorite character, but I don't really don't know anything about him. I know more about Galadriel more than Halbrand. Galadriel is cool and whatever. You know, as I said in the in the in the prison scene, she can just slap any of them and they'll be just gone. You know what I mean? I think that's about it that I wrote down and that I can't remember right now on my. It's really tired. It's like four o'clock four o'clock in the morning so if you reach this far hit that subscribe button guys thank you for subscribing thank you for liking the video if you liked and you know comment on this video i, I know i'm uploading these late you know this probably like this the, the series like finished like a couple weeks ago and i'm sorry but you know you can just keep you know you can watch the previous two episodes that i did three per three episodes that i did you can watch the the new episode that i like new series that i started I'm doing series right now, but I think the first movie I'm going to start doing again is the Black Panther Forever. What kind of forever movie? I think I'm going to do that. You know? So, you know, tune in for that. And I hope you have a nice, great rest of your day, whenever it is you're watching this. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Javari out.